internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, I'm working on a new platform, so I'm not really sure if this is recording. I hope it is. <laughs> so this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Magic Lounge. And I've got my friend that is also a magician, and he is Brian Richards. You there, Brian? Yeah, I'm here. How are you? You're in your office. I can see some magic tricks yeah, or something behind the you. the messy office. This is the typical state my office is in. That's the way it That's is. That's the advantage my... of working at home. No one sees this, except for now. Yeah, now everybody does, right. <laughs> but it it shows that you're busy. Knows. That's the way to do it. I mean, I, I got it against the wall. You should see the stuff on the outside of here. It's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good from here, though. Yeah. So I do these videos to uh, get to know who you are and what you do. So the first thing is, who are you? You got kids? You married? You got a dog? What's up? I have two kids in high school. Got a dog. Not bothering me right now, which is good. And a <laughs> wife. We both work out of the home. So that's another reason why this office is in the shape it's in. We have two people destroying the office at the time. <laughs> It's busy, busy, no time to yes. clean it because you're busy making it work, right? So yep, what is she, it you uh, do? I, she works for uh, a company called Alaris, and I do the entertainment side it. of things. And I always say that the key to that is the fact that she worked for Alaris. That's where the health benefits come from. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so when you say entertainment, do, do you prefer to – I know that you're a magician, and you also do like motivational and inspirational educational talks with the magic, using magic mm -hmm. as a metaphor. But do you classify yourself as a magician, an entertainer, or a speaker, or all the above? Boy, that's a great question, isn't it, Brad? Yeah. Uh, I would say I'm more of an, quote, educational entertainer. Usually the majority of the programs I do, it's entertainment, but there's always a message involved too. And especially with the corporate market, it's always things about things like uh, synergy, teamwork, uh, you know, different themes that companies deal with day in and day out. I give it sort of a different twist by adding entertainment to it. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to sit through those long, boring speeches in those cold uh, conference rooms, right? Yeah, no, they're <laughs> going to be getting cold now, I hear. Some people call it edutrainment. Or I call it edutrainment. Some people call it edu... I don't know. Yeah, I've heard that, edutrainment, yeah. Yeah, get it, cover, cover it all. So uh, do you want to um, rattle off a couple of examples of the programs that you do? I know that I, I've seen you, you're up and coming doing some stuff on Facebook promoting uh, like reading because reading yeah, is important. Yeah, reading is huge right now. Mm -hmm. um, all the schools are starting to prime up for that because the big months of January usually do readathons, and then there's Celebrate Reading Month, which is in March, and then there's Dr. Seuss's birthday, which is a big deal in school. So. Sure. Yeah, reading's really huge right now, so I'm promoting that. Uh, also, a winter show. I do a program called the Winter Wonder Show, which talks about winter and puts in a seasonal aspect. And then, of course, I have two versions for those who are okay with holiday. I can mix in a holiday message. For those who don't, we go with a winter message. How about Christmas? Yes. You got one of those, too? Say that word. <laughs> oh, no. I'm politically incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as companies are concerned, I, I love to do things on marketing. I do a thing on business card, how to use your business card in fun ways so people will keep it instead of throw it in the garbage. Uh, it's quite a concept. And uh, then just the idea of success and working together as a team. So just uh, on an average, how many different types of programs do you think you have? Uh, corporate and the school educational? How many I've think never you added them up. Um, That's why I asked I would guess. guess well over 15 to 20 different oh, wow. programs. That's very cool because a lot of times people just basically have like four or five. Well, you know how it works. After so many years, you tend to develop a whole lot of programs. Sure, so you can kind of just dip into the old programs and do that one about how to use your eight-track tapes for motivational That's speaking. <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> Cassette players, how do we use them? Well, I don't like to do these too long because, uh, number one, selfish me, it takes a long time to upload it, and I, I don't want to waste my valuable time. But then also sure. the people that are watching right now, they have valuable time. So uh, we like to get this point across if they need to know more about you. And uh, if you've got any upcoming programs you want to 
pitch to us and let us know what you got going on, go ahead and do that. You bet. Um, as far as getting a hold of me for the corporate side of things, you can go to my website at www4 the number four ace business dot com, and that's my corporate website. For schools, it's four ace productions dot com. It's the best okay. way to get a hold of me. All the information and contact forms are there. So that's your best way to get a hold of me. As far as programs, upcoming programs, like I said, reading is going to be big with the schools. Uh, the Winter Wonder Entertainment programs for holiday parties, et cetera, is big. So love to hear from them. And, and that's coming, supposedly. We haven't got any snow here in Minneapolis, and it's no. middle of November. Oh, my God, crazy. So Yeah, they say we're going to get hit. Well, you know, it'll only last till June. Sunday, I was sitting out in my backyard. We're having a nice uh, fire on our pit, and I was looking at the full moon. It was so beautiful out, and I was like, it's hard to believe it's the end of November is coming. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me when, gonna I, hit those. when I was in Asheville. It was uh, basically sweater weather, you know. But uh, the big one's coming. I understand. Yep. So I appreciate you taking the time here at the Magic Lounge and Synergy Cafe and Synergy Collaborative and all those other elements that I've got flying around. And um, oh, there it goes. There goes the, the times. Time. <laughs> um, we'll do another one of these uh, on a different topic soon. I just want to get this one up to the universe. So, All peace right, and happiness. Good. Thank you very much. Take it easy, Brad.